Hello and welcome back to more Let's Play Kirby 64 The Crystal Shards. I am the Maxi Q Trades. In the last part, we absolutely destroyed the first three levels of Ripple Star. And in this part, we're gonna finish the game! Ain't that something? Uh, no sense beating around the bush. Let's just go. Boss time! Ah, uh, this boss is obnoxious. For some reason, it is only immune to the power it is currently using, and it has access to all of the abilities uh, Kirby has had since the beginning of the adventure. Which is actually kind of a really cool idea, I actually really like this fight a lot, but it can be a little obnoxious at times. So I'll see if I can get through it. So, Spark is definitely the worst of the powers, next to maybe Bomb. I'll almost always get hit, it's really quite obnoxious. Anyway. You can absorb the powers from these uh, particular... Every time he transforms, you can get the powers, is what I'm trying to say. But once he's done using that form, you can't use the power. It won't hurt him anymore. So and it's kind of a fruitless endeavor. Oh, joy, more spark. That's always good. Whoa! How the... I didn't get hurt. That's a little weird. All right. Awesome. Oh, joy, rock. That's obnoxious. Okay. And... Ah! That's not what I was anticipating. I'm probably gonna die. But I expected no different. Alrighty. Ah, you stink. Oh, hey. Wait, maybe. Just maybe. And I missed completely. Way to go, Kirby. Also, believe it or not, this is bomb. I... You really have a hard time believing that, but, uh, you know, there you go. There we go. Halfway done, however, he has taken away almost all of my health, and I am dead! So, yeah, there you go. Let's try this again. Yeah, this boss has a habit of being incredibly infuriating, not gonna lie. So you move around. There you go. But... If you, it's all it's all timing and you know file base, you'll you'll eventually get it, no problem. It's all experience. Still really hate the bomb power. That's really obnoxious. It doesn't even look like bomb. See there you go. See it turns into anything else. And it get hits. Fun. Dodge that. Ah, jerk. I don't even know what this thing is supposed to be, honestly. I really have no idea. I mean, is this what did the stuff to Ripple Star? I mean... Are we not supposed to question that? I mean, it's on par with all the other things we've randomly been fighting throughout this entire game, but... I don't know, it doesn't really make a lot of sense thematically. Ow. Eat rock, you fiend! Thank you! Let's try this again. Oh, goody, Spike. Alright. Try and lack a lusty way out of this fiend. Also, where are we? Seems like we're in the death dimension. That's a little ominous! Uh, that's what you get when you don't pay attention! A face full of laser beam. Ah. The power will temporarily work, and if you feel like uh, you can do more damage by absorbing the power, if you're quick enough, it is a very... Uh, effective way of doing things, I must say. But I'm... I'm a very slow-to-react type of person. Oh, I hate this one so much! Cutter! Oh, joy! Really hate this. Okay, thanks for that. That was a great use of time! Thank you, weird boss monster thingy! And I did again! All right, you've seen me fail twice. Time to cut. Death by laser, yet again. And a game over, no less. That's the first one of the game, ironically, in the finale. Ah, uh, that's depressing. Cutting. All right, I have returned. We're roughly at this same place we have been. And we are making good progress. I actually haven't gotten hurt too bad, but now that I've started talking, I'm probably going to get hurt again. We'll see. Also, this is the first. I'm using 
Uh, spark, I hate this ability. Okay. Come on, go down, you... I don't even know, it's like a weird... Origami... Paper thing with eyes. I'm not sure what I'm looking at here. Or if, even if we're supposed to be able to figure it out. Eh, jerk. Uh, more lack of Lester. That was your final mistake, weird eye paper mache bob of doom. I don't care for you, one bit, no sir. Oh good, more bombs. We always need more bombs. Okay, hurry up, and I don't think I can even reach that. Oh, no, I did damage, awesome. And more spark, because I just can't get enough of it the first time. And I get hit, because I don't know how I'm supposed to avoid that. Eh, missed. Curse it, fool. Rocks. Eh. Oh, stop turning into Spark already! Seriously, it's like you know this one gives me the most trouble. Die! There! We've killed it, and that's the end of the game. See you guys next time. Eh. Who are you talking to? And the world is saved. Seems all is still not well. Oh, good thing Kirby has this cell phone he never bothered to use up until this point. Seriously, you, we could have used this at any time in history, but we've decided to use it right now at the end of the game. Alright, whatever. Real true and final boss time. Do make note, you need to have collected every single crystal star in the game in order to have, to have access to this particular locale. If you, uh, if you don't collect every single one of them, you get a, uh, an alternative, uh, cutscene that basically just shows that there's a bunch of evil still in the queen and that we haven't actually accomplished Jack Poodley. Thank you, Waddle Dee. And Adeline, thank you for the tomato. You are very kind. So yes, anyway. It's clear that there's still plenty more darkness, and it's us. It's up to me to kill it. Thank you, King Diddy. And now this thing! It doesn't make much more sense than the first boss, but whatever! Ribbon decides to truly help us by flying us around and give us some kind of weird crystal gun. I don't get it, but it's awesome! All you gotta do is shoot this bloke in the eye. And try not to get hit by his, I don't know, eye strain. I don't know. Anyway, once he does that enough times, you can go up here and shoot him in the band-aid until his halo breaks, and then he grows a weird green spiky thing that shoots out poisonous gas. And you want to shoot that a bunch of times. Because that makes sense. Uh, it's, it's kind of amazing just how little logic is in Kirby games, but, uh, you know, there you go. Anyway. Eventually he will recover, and you need to shoot his eyes once again. Ain't that something. Ah, there's a bug in my face. Ah, okay, it went away. It was a mayfly. Kind of spooked me there. But that's not the point. We are fighting some kind of, I don't know, evil angel thing. I'm pretty sure this is a recurring Kirby boss, but uh, embarrassing. But Kirby is like one of the few things I don't have an encyclopedia knowledge on. And yet, I'm Lutz playing one of their games. Funny how life works. Anyway, keep shooting its butt tentacle, because there's really no other words for it. And will we defeat it? No! We're gonna have to go a third round. It is possible to defeat this thing in two rounds, but unfortunately, I did not shoot it enough. And for being, I guess, the ultimate embodiment of all the darkness and evil that we've been facing this entire game, it's kind of a pansy, all things considered. But whatever! It's still a very epic boss fight to be told. Wish Ribbon could have done this a whole lot earlier, though. That would have been nice. And there you go!
No, that's adorable. And then Kirby broke his spine. The end. And there you go! That's Kirby 64, the crystal shards for the Nintendo 64. Brought to you by... Uh, well, not brought to you, but presented by me. The Max Few Trades. And that was an interesting Let's Play to be sure. To be sure, I must say, yes. Was not expecting my computer to die for two solid weeks in the middle of this project. But whatever, I... I got it solved, and I was able to finish it. And with that, I finished two Let's Plays now. Which is odd, because I never thought I'd get past Paper Mario. But what are you going to do? I actually did it. Pretty dang cool, I gotta say. <sighs> so, to all of those who actually watched this entire thing, I thank you very much. I don't understand what you find fun about this, but uh, hey, you find something in here that, you know, you're enjoying, and... Well, that's good. I'm doing my job, then. I'm making some people happy. That's all I want in life. So, there you go. I talk about future LPs, but I'm still... I'm nearing the end of Wario World right now. I figure I'll talk about what I'm gonna do next as soon as I beat that. Which will most likely end on Sunday. Just in case you're curious. All the strange sketch art. That's kind of nice. Ah, <sighs> I don't really have much to say on the matter. This is this is a this is a very good game. It's it's short and a bit uh, simple, but you know that's that that pretty much describes Kirby really well, doesn't it? Short and simple. Yeah, I like it. And you guys should like it too. Anyway, see you guys next time.